Don Jose was born in the region which he now farms. He knows a lot about native trees and found it easy to introduce new native species on his farm. He's really worried about the declining yields from most agricultural crops and sees trees as a valuable source of long-term income. In fact, the whole family feel that this is a good project and everyone in the family helps. Don Jose says that when he dies, the income from the trees will go on for his children and their children after that. Don Jose would like to know more about the carbon fixing benefits of trees and is clearly a shrewd farmer. He's planted two types of native trees on his plot, half a hectare each of Palo Roman and Palo Yugo. Palo Roman is a medium growing tree with a 20 year life cycle, whilst Palo Yugo is a faster growing tree that will yield less in total but will generate profits sooner. This is the main decision facing Don Jose. Does he want profits sooner or can he wait for bigger profits later? Many farmers have chosen to wait longer, viewing their trees as a sort of pension or inheritance for their children. But Don Jose doesn't just grow trees. In between the trees, he grows cassava, otherwise known as yucca. That's this is a root crop, cassava. which is a staple food in many parts of Bolivia. This will help to feed the family, and it also has medicinal qualities, since the starch from the plant helps to control fevers. Don Jose is becoming an authority in the region, and he will promote the project to everyone he knows in the area. It's through people like Don Jose that the project is having a ripple effect, reaching out to more and more farmers who are seeing that the benefits that it's bringing to their neighbours. As word catches on, the only limiting factor will be our ability to raise money.